Welcome back. I hope that was worth your while and you got to practice some keywords. Here's my stack class. It has a magic initializer where I put in a things attribute and I start it with an empty list. Now, I have to make a push method. It has that self always come in. Always, that's true. And whatever I want to push onto my stack is coming in as the next argument. And here I'm doing a plus equals of that thing, pushing it onto the end of the stack. You can do a pin exactly the same. Now, a list has a pop. So I will use that to implement my capital pop. And I'll return what I get unless I get an index error, which means we're out of stuff, and I return a none. So here is my call to stack, making me a box. And I'm going to print box pop, and I get that none. That none that gets returned gets printed. I'm going to push in a nickel and push in a dime. And when I print box pop, I get the dime, the last thing in, and then the nickel, and then back to none. So I made a stack. Some students new to object-oriented programming will put their things here, their things list. And that would mean that all objects of the stack class would share the same stack. And so we don't want that. If you did that, we'll be learning real soon about putting things there. But this isn't the place. Okay, see you when you're ready to move on.